So we're using, um, again, we've both kind of chosen the Prisma colors. Mm -hmm. I also have the graphite. Um, and we're going to kind of move on and look at a number of different uh, forms that graphite comes in. Okay. And one of the fun things about being a collage mixed media artist is um, getting to go to the art supply store <laughs> and kind of exploring to see what's new on the shelf. And I will just bring different products home and see um, what, that I, what I can do to them with my collage work. And a lot of times when I get home, I realize this is just another form of graphite that I've picked oh, up off okay. the shelf without realizing. Yeah. It. And one of my um, very favorite discoveries on one of those um, uh, journeys through the art supply store was the um, Derwent um, XL graphite, they're extra large graphite blocks. And I, I brought these guys home um, not really knowing much about them, just that um, looking at them made me need them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a want, it was a need. And I um, I didn't realize when I brought them that they were a wet dry. I just brought them home thinking mm -hmm. I would figure out what to do with them then. They sell them individually um, okay. as graphite blocks or you can buy them in a set with, with the six different colors. Um, they also make uh, charcoal which is very similar. So you can choose either or. And um, what we're going to do with them today is just highlight if you want to take a, a soft brush okay. and I'm going to pick out an element on the work that you've done that you want to highlight just a little bit and we'll get our brush wet and we're going to use these um, as a wet product, uh, um, okay. as a wet application and you do that um, very similar to using a watercolor block. Okay. So just get your brush wet and pick out you know what color you think you might, you can use the extra um, one at the bottom there, but what I do is just get it really good and wet. And I see that one must be your favorite. That one is <laughs> my go-to color, and so that one's the one I'm going to choose today. And so I just load up my brush, and I just want a, a small little highlight I'm going to put around, and I'm just kind of doing that in this really loose um, way, and I think I'm going to put a little bit more water on my brush and do... So I've got more of an intense um, opaque color here and mm -hmm. I want a little bit uh, more of a shadow and I think I'm just going to do that on the side. Okay. Since I tore that picture up, I can kind of play with the side and add a little bit of a highlight there. Okay. And that is actually helping to draw the eye to that um, element that I want to be kind of my focal point. Even though I've got some really interesting things happening, I think that's the thing that I'd like to highlight the most. So you just want to pick out one. You don't really want to overdo it. Um, you can add um, as much or as little as you want to. And I would definitely encourage you to play with these products and see how they work for you and what you'd like to do.